You can take the dresser, too. Here's the set. You sure about this? That hide is ready to scrape. I'm just about to start. You gotta rub the brains in. But I didn't keep any. There's some in there. We put them in a freezer at the coffee shop. Should have seen Jerry's face when he opened one up. Thanks, Joe. Remember how to do this? If you need any help, I hunt it, I tan it. That's what the elders said. Did they tell you to give away Hannah's furniture? No. Then I'll wait. Rosie, take them, please. I'll get someone to pick them up. Why didn't you answer that damn radio? I was busy. One more time, I call DOT, I mean it. Where is the treatment center? Michelle Kennedy's? Can you trace somebody through money order? Not if they don't want you to. It's from Albert. Postmarked Yellowknife. Maybe he's in Yellowknife. Oh. Sarah, that's moose brains, not butter. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's a post box. He could be anywhere. Why is this in the fridge? It's for the hide. You know, I've been on my own since first year college. Now I'm a kept woman with the baby. Come on, Sarah. You have a house, a job. Well, the house is his, not mine. I don't know about the job. <laughs> okay. You know, they want us to handle more clients. But we don't have the staff. I mean, we don't have the staff because funding's frozen. Well, Ellen said you have more funding. Well, we've applied, but... And you are? Andrew Wenskai. Sarah Burkett. He's from Calgary. He helped me look for Hannah. Oh. The social worker. Psychologist. I was looking for the motel. Oh, uh, you passed it. It's behind the coffee shop. Oh. Well, off to work we go. Mm -hmm. You met my boss in Calgary, Ellen Kennedy. I work at the treatment center. Stay for tea. Ah, I can't, I'm late. Nice to meet you. Caribou? Moose. I'm supposed to tan it. Uh, the elders at Sunwheel told me to do it. Hard work. It's supposed to be. The boy Hannah was seeing called me. Mike. How is he? It's okay. He asked about you. I started to think. We'll come up here, do some fishing, and see how things are going with you. It's good to see you. Did you tell him about the job? No. He must have seen the posting. He's a clinical psychologist with a private practice. That's not why he's here. Michelle? Mm-hmm. Was she glad to see him? No. It's a little soon, don't you think? Too bad. He's cute. Ordering a hunk. If Albert doesn't come home soon... We can't get funding if we can't attract a half-decent therapist. We've got applicants. Tourists. None of them want to commit to more than a year. Well, 
maybe he will. No harm in asking. Okay, BLT with the works. I'm the host. Hey, you don't have to. So, you're American. Arapaho. That's American, right? Look who's here. Yeah, I heard. Welcome to Link's River. Thank you. <laughs> to come by and say hello, take a look at the center. Mm. I met one of your counselors. I thought it was native only. Well, she's on staff, but she's not really a counselor. She does great work. You know, we uh, posted a job. I saw it. Great gig. Must be swamped. Lots of applicants. But it's not Vancouver. <laughs> or Calgary. We've got plenty of space at our house. I'm, I'm fine. I've got the royal suite. <laughs> royal prices. We gave him a discount. Oh. You'll come for supper? I'd love to. Great. Bunny, bunny, up into the hole. Here, baby. Want some? Hi. <gasps> She's not finished. I'll feed her at home. She needs a jacket. I shouldn't just let him barge in like that. It's his kid, too. Yeah, but you take care of her. It should be up to you. Michelle said Nisa could... But it wasn't Michelle's, it was Hannah's. You go home and put your stuff back in the dresser, okay? What if he takes him out again? He won't. Now go. And you better watch yourself. Maybe I can get Andrew to talk to him. He's worked with kids. I'll talk to him. At least I know him. I'll work it out. He's got a job, doesn't he? Private practice, teaching. And what about the Friendship Center? I know, I know, but Stanford University, 15 years in the field, a guy with his credentials, they'd have to fund us. Did he even mention the job? Michelle. Yeah, well, that's why they told me to do this. Andrew once guy is in town. Yeah, I know. You saw him? Ellen has invited him for supper. You too. Maybe. I don't know. I've got to get this finished. Okay. I'll tell him. Zanowski's coming in tomorrow. Medical services. Mm -hmm. We're funded through his office. He wants to talk about well, the new therapist. In person? Mm. Can't fish over the phone. So. We're pretty small-time stuff up here, compared to what you're used to. Depends on how you measure it. Where I've been, a 65% success rate has got to be a typo. And where have you been besides Calgary? Why do I get the feeling that I'm being interviewed? <laughs> Are you interested? Where's Michelle? I thought she was coming. I invited her.
<clears throat> I'm sorry about Ellen pitching you like that. It's okay. I was flattered. The, the center's in a pretty precarious position right now with all the freezes and cutbacks. Tell me about it. I live in Alberta. No, I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. We don't have the infrastructure. Peter, I got a feeling that you don't want me here. Look, I really appreciate what you did for her in Calgary. We all do. And I mean that. But stay away from my sister. Mitch isn't in great shape. It was touch and go there for a while, and seeing you can't help. She said that? No, well, why do you think she didn't show up for dinner? You're presuming a hell of a lot about me and her. I know her. I was trying to get him interested in the center. You didn't exactly help. You don't even know the guy. I know his reputation. Do you? Hannah died six weeks ago. He's up here chasing Michelle. You don't know what went on between them in Calgary. I'm talking about the center, about getting him to work there. It's um, about my cousin, Ivan. What about him? He's uh, single, but he's getting awful close to this woman who's uh, married. Are they having an affair? No. <laughs> but he wants to. That's what I'm afraid of. Is her marriage in trouble? Possibly. Her husband's away a lot. Sounds to me like your cousin is a pretty lonely guy. to watch the end of Barney. It's past her bedtime. So let her sleep in. I have to go to work tomorrow. Go late. I don't want you taking her whenever you feel like it. So when am I supposed to take her? Every second day. Every second day? Visiting hours for my own kid? from Albert. He sent another money order. You gotta know how to find him. I mean, old friends, family, somebody. God, I'm tired of doing this alone. I thought that's what you wanted. Oh, yeah. I need my space. You know, to stack wood, to haul water, to feed the baby, to burp the baby, to walk the baby, to walk the baby. I'll stack the wood. Albert should stack the wood. Why does he even send me money? So I'll stay where his spies are? It's from Mike Thunderchild. I'll go. No. Do what you came for. I'd love to talk to you, but Peter says that I'm not allowed. What did he say? Leave her alone. Get out of town. <laughs> the 
truth is, I really did come here to see you. I know it was a mistake. I'm sorry. It's just... One minute, we were looking for Hannah, and it was gonna be okay, and the next minute, it wasn't gonna be okay, and we were gone. But I thought something happened between us, something good. I just need to know, was I right or, or wrong? The moment I heard she was missing. I'm sorry, I've got no right to do this. Bad timing. You haven't checked in yet. Uh, if I could have a word for it. First of all, I, I want you to know you've done God's work here, and it hasn't gone unnoticed, believe me. It's not me. It's a team. Let him finish. Well, our problem is the minister has made a commitment to expand the facility at St. Chris. Now you know the tune these days. You know, expand here, cut back somewhere else. We need a therapist. That's not what he's saying. He's shutting us down. But the program works. Doesn't that mean anything? Look, no one's questioning the efficiency of the program. It's numbers, Mary, pure and simple. Numbers. Like the minister having two cousins and a brother-in-law in the St. Chris Band Council? That's uncalled for. It's the goddamn truth if you know it. The center wasn't supposed to come here in the first place. But it's here now and it works. For who? The clients. Who else? How many clients? Less than 30 a year. In this economic climate, we can't rationalize the cost. This is the healing center, not a sausage factory. What about uh, all this rigmarole of finding a new therapist? Just a little smoke to cover your tracks? No. It was a last attempt to make Lynx River work. But, as you can see from these resumes, you haven't been able to attract a suitable individual. So, what we're left with, Ellen Kennedy notwithstanding, is a makeshift ad hoc program that we simply cannot afford. Sarah does damn good work here. Don't blame her. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm simply assessing the facts. What about the jobs? I'm sorry. I've got to be on Simpson by 6 o'clock. As I said earlier to Peter and Ellen, you've done God's work here. Oh, blow it out your ear. your business sorted out you got to hold on to old stuff you know because it gets valuable they call them antiques I heard about a dresser that sold for $75,000 we're not going to sell Hannah's stuff 
It's not Hannah's, it's mine, Mom said. Well, Mom's wrong. Shut up! Why don't you... That's enough, you guys. finish your lunch I was only trying to explain it's none of your business they're shutting down the treatment center that's gonna cost us a lot what about the clients then too Treatment center lost its funding. They can't do that. Bertha will lose her job. Well, they did it, Elsie. Why? Uh -huh. Staff here just doesn't cut it. Meaning me. Well, that's nuts. Betty Moses handpicked you. They want a native with a degree, not an ex-nurse with a few blown circuits. We should ask Andrew Wenskai to work here. He's got a job in Calgary. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Sit around all day? Wait for Albert to send the next check? Yes, who is it? Suppose we change our mandate. St. Chris taps out treatment center funds. Fine. We become something different. Call it a, an extended care center. ECAP has funds available for extended care programs. They do? As of 20 minutes ago, they did. Instead of duplicating services, we take the clients that can't quite make the 28-day spin, St. Chris does quantity, we do quality. With our ad hoc makeshift program. No therapist. Won't need one. Oh, you should have pitched this a few months ago. We didn't know you were going to shut us down. You weren't listening. All the signs were there. We thought the program spoke for itself. You know better than that. Come on, Bob. I phone the minister and I phone Sandy Carlisle and I tell him what a nice guy you are for coming up with such a wonderful idea. Or if you say no. Sandy Carlisle quit two months ago. If you made waves, I don't think the minister would care. Hey, you want to be in the game, you got to play full time or not at all. Did you talk to Andrew? He doesn't want the job. He came here to see Michelle. She pushed him away. One little push, one little Michelle push. Just talk to him. About what? I saw them together. The guy is crazy about her. If he's still here in a year, who knows what the hell might happen? I can't tell him that. I'll talk to him. Shutting the center. We'll be okay. I need the money. Where's Kyla? TV took her. I told him. He said he was just gonna take for an hour or two. It's the big deal. He's in town, he's the big daddy. And then he takes off and Kyla cries every night for a week. That's the big deal. He's jerking her around. It's jerking you around. Catch anything? I heard. I'm sorry. Well, if we could find a reputable therapist to work here, he might be forced to reconsider. Ouch.
You know, it's a chance to do real work. I do a lot of real work with real people. What's your success rate? So she didn't fall into your arms. What did you expect? She doesn't trust men. If you want her, you gotta fight. Hey, back off. Well, if that's the best you can do, maybe she's better off. I don't understand. Dirt in the fuel. I see. And what are you doing about it? Gotta clean the filter. And how long will that take? Hard to say. And where's the pilot? Fishing. Fishing? Come in. Andrew Wonsky. Bob Sanofsky. I'm a psychologist. I came up to see about the therapist job. Oh, I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So I hear. Adolescent psychology in the Aboriginal communities of New Mexico. You're American? Arapaho. Stanford? I've got a clinic in Calgary, and I'm teaching, but uh, this seemed like an interesting challenge. Mm, afraid you're a little late. Is it money, politics, or is there something else? Mm. You'd actually stay here? I might. It's too bad we can't afford you. What is your shortfall, exactly? Where's Kyla? TV took her to Wolverine Lake. He went with Ernie White Mud. He didn't tell you. When's he coming back? He didn't say. Maybe tomorrow. TV will take good care of her. He can't just come and take her like that. I have to know. He's Carla's father. So where's his father? Where's anybody's father? TV's here. Boils down to about 50 grand a year. With or without the therapist? With. <sighs> and he won't budge? He can't. We have to find the money by morning. I don't know what to do. I've cut the budget to the bone. What if I worked as a consultant? I could charge anything I wanted. We've got collective agreements. Not with consultants. I can live on half the salary. What about the part-time staff? You're still 20 short. Sarah's part-time. I want you to make some calls for me. Andrew Wonsky. The center's thinking of hiring him. You can start with Stanford University. Is this a request of the board, or are you acting ex officio? Whatever you like. You want dirt on someone? Hire a private detective. He's got them all conned. Including your wife. And my sister. Michelle's got pretty good instincts, Peter. Not right now, she doesn't. Just do it. I bet he's clean. We've 
got until tomorrow morning. Did anybody call Betty? She says it's my call. Sarah does get money from Albert. It's not just the money. She does great work. Sarah's a member of this community. Is she? Of course she is. Do we have a choice? We should go home and think about this. Nothing's decided. So it's not closing? No, not yet. Oh, well, that's great. What about Andrew? Did they accept his offer? It's tricky. We gotta find the money. Oh. Well, happy hunting. <laughs> Keep me posted. They're gonna axe me and hire Andrew. He's leaving town, Sarah. He's going. Oh, ask Ellen. He made a proposal. She wouldn't fire you to hire Andrew. She wouldn't. Yes, she would. She's going to. Tell me you're not going to fire Sarah. With Andrew, we get funding and stay open. With Sarah, we can't. The clients trust her. They open up to her. That's why Betty wanted her. You think I don't know that? I've been defending Sarah's position for a long time. People ask why she's working there and not a native. How come I get the resident Looney Tune instead of a real therapist? It gets hard to justify after a while. Alan Albert's gone. She's got a little baby. He sends her money. Well, it's not the money. It is the money. That's exactly what it is. You and Peter keep setting me up to be the villain. I'm not. And I'm getting tired of defending myself. It's the board's decision. And Andrew's. Use her to get back at me. It isn't fair. How is the shitty thing to do? I get your own kid, okay? I take care of your kid and Bertha. I'm not gonna let you mess them up. I'll see you every second day. His resume mm -hmm. and his real resume. Three years in Vietnam, dishonorable discharge. 1976 Los Angeles, sentenced to five years for attempted murder, a bar fight. Released after 28 months for good behavior. A high school diploma, university scholarship. Where were you 20 years ago? Where was Michelle? A falling down drunk. What else don't we know? Can't you see how dangerous he is? For who? You have a wife, a son, a town. 
Why is it always, always about Michelle? You can't see it, can you? I've got the minister standing by in Illinois. Obviously, he's impressed with Mr. One Sky's credentials and with your economic plan. He's prepared to follow my recommendation to uh, keep the Lynx River Treatment Center open, providing we all realize there's not a penny more to be had. So, do we have a consensus? We should make a motion to rehire Sarah as soon as we can. She's done some good work for us. That should be on record, too. There's one more thing. It's bound to come up sooner or later. Mr. One Sky served 28 months of a five-year sentence for attempted murder in California. He has not been involved in the legal system since, except as a therapist and a healer. I spent three years in Vietnam. Some drunk called me a baby killer. They sent me to therapy. I was lucky. He was great. And here I am. Why did you keep it a secret? I didn't. It was 20 years ago. We all have our past. There's no policy on that. You want to go somewhere else so we can be alone? Forget it. the wrong flavor. Vanilla's out, strawberries in. It's only until we get more funding. Take the time. Be with your baby. That's why you haven't put me on a plane right now, right? Because my kid's Indian? I've been in this community for eight years and I'm still nobody to you. That's not true. Did you fire Bertha? She cooks, it's different. She didn't have any other choice. Of course she didn't. Andrew's in. Sarah's out. Well, couldn't you stop them? Andrew made him a deal they couldn't refuse. He's very smooth. Where are they going? They're gonna store it. And the dresser, too? Daniel Dale will probably end up with him. Yeah, on my trailer van. When's um, uh, Leon's next visit? Not for a while. I just came by to say thank you. I did it for the center. And it may have cost me a friend. We'll make this place work. We'll hire her back. Doesn't make it any easier. Peter dug that stuff up, didn't he? 
Peter and Michelle grew up together pretty much alone. But now, they choke everyone else out. Sometimes I'm afraid they're gonna choke each other, too. I did follow her here. Maybe you'll do her some good. Trust your instincts. My instincts tell me that this is a good place for me. Then it will be. It's a small town, Peter. We should be civil with each other. I'll be civil. Just stay away from her. Is that what's best for her? I'd respect you if you'd have been straight about why you came here. But you lied and you manipulated your way in at the expense of a woman who deserves better. Peter? The treatment center stays open. Okay. The place where your wife works, remember? You don't give a damn about the treatment center. This is about Michelle. She can take care of herself. I'll give her all the space she needs. You should too. Michelle, I will stay as far away from you as you want me to. But you're going to have... You set the whole thing up. Right from Calgary, didn't you? I'm sorry about Sarah. But the town still has a treatment center. I can do good work here. Stop it. That's not why you came here. No, it isn't. I asked you to leave and you said yes. And I asked you if you felt the same thing I did. You don't know what I've lost. She filled a huge space in me, and now there's just pain. Let me help. Go away. Go back. Go anywhere. It doesn't matter. 